Previously on Sagebrush Soul, we made a headlight mount and extended the handlebars on my unnamed mini bike build. Today we're going to make a little cush for the tush with a Springer seat. I saw this on Redbeard's Garage YouTube channel and I had to try to replicate it because if you've ridden these Coleman mini bikes, you know they're a little hard on the spine and the booty. For this project, we're going to use some 1 8 inch sheet metal, quarter inch flat bar, some mini shocks, a weldable hinge, and some corner gussets. I'm going to be putting a torque converter on this bike, and to do that, I have to remove this bar that the chain guard mounts to. We'll relocate this bracket to support the springs for the seat. You also need to remove the chain guard mounting tab. We'll come back to this later, but right now we have to prepare the seat. After removing the seat, we need to cut off these plastic tabs so we can trace the seat onto some steel plate or sheet metal. I used a piece of 1 8 inch diamond plate because I salvaged it from some exercise equipment. And you can see by my physique, it is my favorite thing to do with exercise equipment. Now you might be able to get away with some 14 gauge for this, but I'm a pretty big boy so I'd never use anything less than 8 inch. To make the steel fit the contour of the seat, I had to make some grooves with a cutting wheel to allow it to bend. I cut about halfway through the steel, then put it in a vise to get it to bend a little bit at a time. Yeah, my cuts look a little wonky, but it all worked out in the end. The steel is going to bolt to the seat using the original mounting holes. To mark the holes, I used some set screws and a paint pen. I ran the set screws in the holes, filled them with paint, lined up the steel pan on the seat, and voila! I drilled the holes and it was a pretty darn good fit. Now it's time to mock up the seat. I drilled a hole in the hinge so I could bolt it to an existing hole in the original seat mount. I wanted to be able to remove the seat if needed, so I didn't want to weld it to the frame. Once I got it where I wanted it, I clamped it in place and welded the seat pan to the hinge. As far as where to mount the chain guard bar, it's just trial and error. If I were to try to give you a measurement or an angle, it'd just be confusing. So if you want to do this, I recommend you spend plenty of time mocking it up and tack it a couple of times if you have to. The shock mounts are going to be wider than the seat and to avoid interference with the frame, I used a piece of quarter inch flat bar that will connect the shocks to the seat pan. I left these ends wild while I mocked up the mounts. I'll cut them to fit later. These springs only have about an inch and a half of usable travel, so I used this 2x4 to set the seat height. And just like Redbeard, I used some gussets to mount the shock. Once I got the mounts where I wanted them on the frame, I moved to the mounting tabs for the seat. I wound up modifying some gussets just to get a little bit lower profile. I tacked them in place, then I removed the shock mount for finish welding before welding the shock mount to the pan. Once I bolted everything back together, it seemed like the shocks were binding a little, so I did a little bit of grinding on the shock guy and that seemed to help. After the test drive, it's still pretty firm, but definitely a better ride. I'm going to do a straight up Springer style seat on my daughter's bike and we can do a little side by side comparison. So make sure and subscribe and ring the bell to get notified when that comes out. In upcoming videos, we're going to be doing some electrical and paint, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. I'm Kenny. This is Sagebrush Soul, and may the best of your past be the worst of your future.